Hey there, everybody, that here in. Welcome back to that plays Rim World. XCOM edition. We are putting down some pews. So that we can, you know, have a a better place to celebrate not just Christmas, but all of the other wonderful holidays that we choose to celebrate here. So what else could we use to celebrate? I mean, I, you know, they want the ideogram in general, but I don't feel like you need the ideogram, although it's better than the ritual spot, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there are the altars, but, you know, these are divine shrines. We don't need those. Could put a ritual spot here and just say this is from whence everything will begin now. Yeah, we're not going to do a conversion ritual anytime soon. But, you know, you could start anything from here. We could do a leader speech. All right, he's got some good social impact on him, Dismas does. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's let them know that, one, these are some busy, busy sea otters, and two, we will survive this extreme heat wave. We have the power. We have the technology. We have the ways. We will make this happen. Yeah, we'll talk about the honesty of the colony. As you do, as you do. We'll be amicable. As you do, as you do. How is our mech gestator doing? It's only got one cycle left, so we're about to have another steel wyvern. And we're on the cusp of researching gamma mech tech, which should be pretty darn good. Because we got a free freaking chip for it, which was amazing. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad, right? And right now, this is, you know, the anti-heat, it's, or anti-cold, it's the bad. We'll deal with it. And we're trying to deal with it right now. I don't know what's causing the uh, speed drop right this minute, but all right. You know, that shield is not in the air, right? So it's kind of weird. Can I adjust it over? Maybe? No? Yeah, because it's, it's totally not in the air. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It's definitely off center. Uh, Jewel Bug 4 has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. We got beds. You should probably take one. Just saying, throwing that out there. Dizma spoke about how to be more like crabs. All right. I guess that's cool. This room is at uh, 169, which is nice. Very impressive indeed. Nice t-shirt. Amplified and destructive. Melee damage multiplier on a shirt. Dope. 67% aiming time. Holy crap. That's actually... That actually seems pretty damn sick, right? Yeah, I'm a little concerned with how much... Uh, waste this will likely generate, but we'll see how it goes. These things are doing their best. Anyway, it's, you know, we're running out of running out of room for that trash. Literally. Yeah, it has been suggested we could just dump it off somewhere, but nowhere seems like a safe place to dump it off. You know, I could, I, there's already pollution here. I could dump it on the... Oh, it sucked. All right. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, plus 40. It was 100%. Technically, you know, everything was maxed out and perfect. But, you know, you shouldn't... First of all, you shouldn't have mentioned the crabs, I think. But... All right, game. Screw you, too. Minus eight. All right, whatever. Titanium underground. Ooh right up here okay well that's pretty nice Let's see where do i have right here you still got a little bit more jade to go after that's a lot of titanium artificial metabolism is done that's good news 
All right. I mean, it's going to lower moods for a while, including yours, probably. Yeah. So, but your your mood is fine. Everyone's mood is above 70. We're going to be okay. We're going to get 7,000 gold. Easy McPeasy. Okay. Neme, how you doing on your Psy Focus? You're doing. It's up there, all right. Hmm, Bermuda's making an art. I mean, you got the art skill for it. I'll give you that. Hmm. What else could I quickly, like, shove out and work with? Not sure. I mean, there's a little bit of cloth over here. What about these unrefined uranium crystals? They're worth 64 bucks? Oh, actually, you know, we should be putting them over here. because Don't we have a refinery for these here? No. No, wait, that, duh, not in there. That's the chem fuel area. So it's here, right? No? Where are we processing these? We're not. Well, damn. Process these forever. And then get me a... What's going in this shelf? Nothing? Alright, well... Now these go in here at a high priority. Okay. Those will get moved in eventually, but for this... Well, let, let them get moved in. And then we can deal with other things. Because we can't have Neme go outside right now. Or at least we shouldn't. Why do we have... Did I see that correctly? We had, like, five elephant tusk? Alright, well, that's something else we could transform. If it were inside. It's not. So our... We're limited right now. You can't do neutral flower petals. You could do... You could definitely do herbal medicine. For sure, for sure. We have 37 cure-alls now, by the way. Yeah, we have some herbal medicine sting out here, which means we have... I forbid that! Excuse the hell out of you! Oh, look at me, I'm helping. Slow your roll, damn it. You'll help when I ask you to help, please. All right. Mech fusion core. I want more of these. What the hell is a transcended subcore? Uh, I'm going to do this one. What is this for? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. I'm certainly interested. All right. Do it again. Oh, that's a... That was a failure? This is the best failure I've ever seen. Damn, we're just too low. All right. Strong box melee pack. Well, damn. You know what? Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, Vasilla, you're here. You're trying to be helpful. Open this up. That would help. Probably should have just moved it somewhere else for... Yeah, pick it up, actually. I should I could have done that much more effectively. Um wait, did you actually pick it up? Okay, I got you. Okay, good. Pick it up and move it over somewhere else. Like here, this is fine. Okay. Why? Because I want to be able to see what's dropping from it. And if I were to have it right there, half the stuff would have ended up in the containers and I wouldn't be able to tell what it is. So I thought it through. Nice glasses, by the way. You're looking good. Okay, what do we got? What do we got here? Uh, you're gonna go get chocolate, which is great. Punk samurai jacket, shock gloves, that makes sense. Combat weave suit. The strider shoes, neon yellow. Very cool. The assassin visor. Okay, that makes sense. That ups a lot of melee stuff. And a shield belt. Alright, well the shield belt itself is worth it. Neme, I want you to wear one of these shield belts. Okay. Everything else can get moved and equipped as desired, but yes, this is much better than a shield pack. Beautiful. Hey, okay. it's not the best shield belt in the world, 
but it's pretty good. Obviously not as good as an enforcer shield belt. Dude, midnight with this extreme heat wave stuff is uh is red. It is very red. Jeez them. Alright, well, worth knowing at least. It is 119 outside. It is 77 in this room. We don't have any. What's keeping the temperature down in here? We don't have a vent into here, do we? Oh, we have a vent into here. But, like. We have a vent in here and in here. Oh, well, this door is mostly is open most of the time, isn't it? So I guess that does make sense. It's in the 70s, 60, 60. Lower 60s over here in the 50s almost. Fahrenheit, of course. Um, which, considering how low a temperature they can find, be fine with, we're going to be okay. Yeah, at this point, temperatures are fine most of the way around. Except where we're growing plants, but I guess we'll live with that. We can, probably. Hans! Nanites are still at 30%, which is still fine. Initial doesn't seem to have any negative effects, so Joachim is fine. You can send to yourself, too, Joachim. You got, you got the skills to do it. No animals, because, duh. These things will have been ruined by temperature. Well, might as well smash them now. Well... Of course, the crawl tech mod ruins yet another experiment. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yo, the traders still here? I'm curious. Yeah, they probably left early due to dangerous temperature. I don't blame them. I would have too. What about y'all? Mm -hmm. Serious. Negative 25 consciousness, which is actually still fine for the most part. Um, heat insulation minus 700%. That's fine. Yeah, this is a good way to actually experiment, now that I think about it. Well, experiment on the effects. Just have a ghoul out here. They'll tell you what the effects are. And if it'll kill them and whatnot. And if they're not dead, well, then it ain't gonna kill them. Uh, cold-blooded danger. Oh. What? What? Will fall to extreme temperatures easier and faster than others. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Hypothermic slowdown. Their body is be will begin to shut down when it's too hot. It has the benefit of slowing their metabolism. Okay. You're still fine, and it's time to leave. Hot diggity damn. Get the hell in. All right. Yo, can someone get Axeek out of here? And tell him it's time to go? Or did you actually... Are you just joining us? What's going on here? Yeah, I guess you did. Um, masterwork... Well... Okay, the stats of this thing are amazing. Oh, come on. I wanted to select it. It's fine. We know where it's going. Marble chunks up here. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and uh, just slap this over here. Get a power conduit going over here. And let it go. Pods have arrived with our rewards. Oh, no. This is uh for letting someone venerate Central's MCR. Steel vitality, huh? Okay, sure. What does that do? Siphons vitality from a nearby source, transferring the target's natural healing factor, movement speed, and consciousness into the caster for a full day. Considered a hostile action. I mean, I would, I would bet. All right, get the hell out. Go on. I think I just forgot that you were part of our team, or something. I mean, it says you're still part of the Napok Pack. Well, formally. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It all makes sense. What would be the chances of, uh... 
converting them. 57? Yeah. Okay. Get the hell out. Okay. All these rolls that I don't care about. Deactivated. Cool. And our 7,000 gold. And also some music. But more importantly, 7,000 gold. Very nice. And we're down to our core colonist again. Finally. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're going back to your faction now. That's right, you were a mercenary, that's what it was. I missed that for some reason. I blame my brain. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We do have all these people over here who we can eventually maybe recruit and then send off somewhere. Seems like an idea. What do you want to do again? Oh, a psychic suppressor, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't seem worth doing. Give me something else. There are quests that I would like. That's not one of them. Oh no, an arc thrower is gone and died on us. Now it's the time to be sad. You really need to change this. This is not good. It's forced to peril, huh? Good. Get rid of it. It's honestly not that great. It is very protective. Medium dinosaur cowboy hat of invulnerability. What is with all the stuff of invulnerability getting made here? Look at this thing. Oh, man, it's fell also, which is not great. But still, nice. Where was that other hat they got made? Armored dinosaur hide cap of omnipotence. Research speed, global learning factor. Damn. I don't know, you have a nice hat. And it matches the color, so it's, it's kind of hard to say don't wear that one. Are there any other red ones? No? Well, keep with the red then. What can I say? It matches too well. Alright, that is a dead dude. Blur kill. You're not really part of our group, per se. Okay, the leg implants are done. I still am not sure why... Reynold only has one of them. Let's go ahead and give him the other one. I'm actually probably going to make another leg implant after this, too. But install that one. And yeah, let's make one more. That way we have two to actually put in someone. Seems like a good idea. At least to me. All right. How y'all doing? 2.7 days. You got, you got a ways to go. Ran, how you doing? Getting some more, uh, getting some more ground penetrating scanning done, huh? Yeah, putting the fire here was the best. Okay. Fire is gonna stay great all the time. Okay, so you're over here getting steel, and you're over here slamming out titanium. Nice. And we got rain all doing it, so it's going as fast as it's pop probably going to go. At least for now, you know? Look at all these trees. Standing over here together. We can't grow them like that. Why can they grow naturally like that? Who did this? Wingus, what are you doing? Playing billiards. I mean, I guess you got your own mood to think about, sure. Also, drop this... He's been carrying that grenade launcher all this time, and it's just not something he needs. Circadian influence is done. Nice. But yes, now we're going to have two steel wyverns. Which, needless to say, is pretty awesome. We could get ourselves the Empress. I just don't know if it's worth it. The Steel Dragon slash Wyverns are, for sure. But the, their weight class is only heavy? There's a weight class above that that they are not. What are you, as the Apoptosis? You're ultra heavy. So the Steel Wyverns count as slightly smaller, which means they would be resurrectable. Maybe not to the Apoptosis, but to the um, Mechanator thing. Dude, who made these incompetent freaking stews? Who did this? Who is who's allowed to cook? 
Wingus, you have 13 skill. Vasilla, you have 15. Neme, you have five. Stop cooking. Tyra, you have four. Stop cooking. Chibi Girl, you have really good cooking skill. I'm going to put it at five for you. Uh, Lo, you have four. You don't cook. Joaquin, you could cook. Okay, I don't want to see this happening anymore, all right? It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the only description I need, right? All right, Neme. I'm going to put on a nice duster. Very cool, very cool. Looking good, looking good. And you get your meditation on. You're getting there. What do we get next? We don't need dignified. We don't need flame. Art would be pretty good. Wealth would be pretty good. Science. And group. Arco-technology. Hmm. I mean, wealth could be great if you just have to be somewhere where, where there's wealth. That'd be amazing. You know, Reynold has dignified, which means the throne. And he has artistic. Hmm. Well, he does have art next to him, so that's helping. I don't know about him. I know he's got drilling to do, and he's ready to do it. Uh, okay. Is this broken again? It doesn't look like it is. It says stored network, so maybe it's just full. That might make sense. Yeah, it could just be full. Anyway, we now have lots of steel wyverning. And we are needing more deep fridges. Oy. All right, we can build two more. Let's do that. That's going to let us store 1,600 garbage. And then, yeah, maybe I should just send it somewhere. It's not polite, but... We didn't ask if it was, did we? Uh, this thing can only store 166 of it? Like, I get that it's uh, heavy, but damn. I didn't know it was that heavy. All right. I guess this would be a good use for that one thing that I got rid of earlier, right? The cannon that just shoots it in. Where's the cannon? I thought it was here. Is it in production? Mm, let's see, mineral rich asteroid. Nice. Maybe it's in ship? No. Nope. Just, just lose my mind over here. Don't remember it all. Outpost delivery. Oh, yeah, we got that delivery spot. Flesh shaping is done, by the way. Pod launchers. Yeah, I don't remember. It's not in security. Well, good, you can place the damage upgrades. That's nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade the damage for everything. No, you can't. It doesn't work that way. If it did, though, that'd be cool. Transport pod is ready to go. That was fast. Rocket swarm launcher, huh? Hmm. It seems like an idea. Caltrips! Oh, mechanite caltrips. Okay, that's that's interesting. The shield generators could also be really good since we have pretty strong, uh, pretty strong sources of power. They wouldn't be the be-all, end-all, though. You'd think they might be, but they wouldn't. They would be good, not amazing. Put it that way. It's in storage. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we could rebuild this. Just set it up, like, right here. And say to put the garbage in it. And just, just, just send out the garbage all day. As you do, as you do. Um, 
There was a place that already had, like, a bunch of pollution near it. I mean, this. But you, you are also already, like, on a polluted tile, aren't you? Yes, you are. Send it that way. Okay. That'll make us some room. Do me a favor. Link all these. Okay. Now they all just store toxic waste packs. Okay. That will work. What is this? Earthen depths? Huh. Alright then. That's interesting. Molten rock and extreme depth make it dangerous and difficult to survive. I feel like we should explore one of those areas at some point. Maybe. It definitely sounds interesting. This is a fungal forest. Some of these I am, you know, I've seen. Wow, look at how, much, how far they have to fly. There's an atoll, a couple of atolls, and a tropical island. Just over here in the middle of the uh, of small-ish. Yeah, they're pretty big lakes. Almost ocean-sized lakes, maybe. There's Max's Wonder Ocean, in case you were looking for that. We know where it is now. Yeah, I kind of want to send Rainall to explore one of these molten areas sometime. Just to see what it's like. Ta-da! Alright. Pollution is increased by 8.3. Which means it's at 92%. And then, of course, they mad. As you would kind of expect. I would expect them to be mad. Alright, well, there's this armor now. I don't know what I want to do with it, but it's there. Let's see. Good, good, good. Excellent. Which sounds good, 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 good. Do we have any more... Do we have any more herbal medicine or anything like that that we can go ahead and get rid of? Eltex and unfinished duster. Yeah, we do. Just out of there. Okay. Y'all. I was going to say, Decimus, if you move that, I'm going to be so... What are you doing? All right. People. Well, now it's raw gray fields. But now... You, you okay there, Neme? You've uh, goofed it up twice in a row. That's not like you. That's not good. Apparently, I guess the failed roll only counts towards the big ones, not the small ones. Good to keep in mind. All right. Okay, let's let's transform that thing. There we go. Okay. Anti-mech, anti-material. A kid shirt. Kibble. Tough leather. Snail egg. Spacer special ammo. Punk samurai jacket. Anti-mech, anti-material rifle. Because this is the kind that has, yeah, a lot of range. Eh, it's not actually that strong. All things considered. It's just kind of okay. Which is kind of too bad. Anyway, this isn't one of our colonists, and uh, neither is this technically, so I'm not too concerned about them being quote-unquote left unburied. Just throwing that out there so that you know. Blue crystals are done. 75 of them ready to go. Hans, how you doing? Moderate. Lowers consciousness by 15%. Okay. That would affect some of us more than others, of course. Rain all get in. Uh, and take... You gotta take tail with you. There you go. You two like to hang out together. So, take some package survival meals, and I'm gonna have y'all go out and explore some of that molten area. Because I'm very curious as to what it has for me, if anything. Right, you, you, you animals are probably gonna be okay. I mean, obviously, it depends on how long this lasts. 
Well, if it doesn't last too long, then you're definitely going to be fine. But if it does, well, then we got problems. Hello, satellite. How you doing? We yeah, have Plasteel. I mean, we can't... The only thing we can do about the compression is literally wear the spacesuits. And I don't want most of you wearing the, the spacesuits. How is your mood so bad? Intense pain from what? The frickin' food poisoning. Damn it. Cancel this. Son of a gun. Hans, what are you doing? Ah, getting ready to train an animal. Huh? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, maybe we need something to prevent that from happening anymore. Okay. Combat stomach. Prevent food poisoning from ever happening. Stores extra nutrients from food, huh? Oh, there's a stomach implant. Yes, give me that instead. Stomach implant. Hunger rate. 15%. <laughs> no food poisoning chance. Alright. Make that happen. Okay. Mech Hunter chest, chest plate. Me. Yeah, there's a lot of options. They, I feel like they should have broken this up into maybe at least two different benches. But who am I to say, right? I don't know. They got like a million things in here. So does anyone really care that much? Maybe. Maybe not. Advanced components and blast steel, huh? Hey, a little bit of uranium for the armor itself. It's not that bad. And the utility ones are a bit more expensive. Pretty sure that's on purpose. So what are we building over here right now? Uh, the other leg implant? All right, that's good, that's good. Would love to see someone faster start building over here. But it's not gonna be Reynold because he doesn't have the skill, which is understandable. But let's see. Whoa. What? I've never had it stop like this during an autosave. What is this? Did the game actually like crash while trying to autosave? Because if so, that's a kind of a big problem. Yes, to answer the question. It straight up just crashed. That's new. I have never had the game crash attempting to autosave before. Huh. Well. How do you solve that? Good question. Did it actually... So I guess the next question is, was it able to actually autosave, or was it not? Probably not, if I were to guess. I guess we'll find out together, won't we? We'll have to. Anyway. That was unfortunate. Hey, guess what, everybody? Apparently I can get a... Free 10-piece chicken McNuggets with minimum purchase of $15 delivered to you. So I can get chicken nuggets for $15. You know, assuming, you know, if that's the only thing you want are the chicken nuggets, then unless you're going to buy a 20-pack and get 10 for free, you're really just paying 15 bucks for it. Just buy $15 worth of soda. Just to buy some, just to get some chicken nuggets for quote unquote free. Doesn't it cost? Hold the phone. Now I have to check. I really got it. I would say I got to get rid of this app, but you know, we, we order McDonald's like every month or so because we have a kid and the kid wants a happy meal every day, but that's not going to happen. Uh, it's not here nor there though, but. The app is actually quite, it, it's 
Okay, it's both a piece of crap, but conceptually, it's great. It's a piece of crap because it's awful at loading. I've had, like, old 90s Geocity sites that loaded faster when I had dial-up than this dang app does sometimes. But that's not here nor there. What's here and there is it's they did a fantastic job with convenience. You know, um, I can pull up the app and I could say, hey, I'm going to order this, this, and this. I can customize everything. You don't have to do that awkward customization conversation in front of the customer service representative, a.k.a. the cashier or the drive through person, um, who usually is operating the cash register as well. So the cashier, uh, you don't have to do that awkward conversation with them. You just plug it all into the app, and it shows up on their screen, and then you're good to go. Um, but you can order it, and you can go through the drive through and give them the code, or you can do curbside pickup, and they bring it to you. Or you can go to the counter inside, and you can pick it up. Or if you want to be the most inconvenient person possible, you can bring it in. To, you can go into the store, pick a booth, to sit down there, and then have them drop your order table side. Why you would want that for McDonald's? I don't know, but you can, if you want. If you want to go to McDonald's and have a diner, you know, a restaurant-style experience, I suppose. Sounds wild as hell to me, but hey, if that's what floats your boat. Oh, and we're back at the beginning. Damn. So because the autosave failed, we're boned. All right. Well, there's one way to solve that. It's a dangerous way to solve it. But it's pretty much the only one we got. I'm going to turn off auto-saving. And I did check, by the way, 10-piece chicken McNugget on the app is $5.39. So you're you're spending $15 to get $5.50 worth of chicken McNuggets. Why not just buy the McNuggets? It don't have it delivered. There's going to be an extra 15 bucks. So you're going to be spending 25 to 30 bucks on $5 worth of nuggets. Don't do that. All right? Just don't do that. Um gameplay storyteller setting look i have never turned off autosave before it's right there at the top you can't turn it off all right every 14 days then we'll try that i can't believe you can't actually turn it off that seems weird and wrong right anyway these are all good so these better still be all good most of the other stuff is inconsequential in comparison. Um, I do need tail, or not tail, Neme, to remove this armor. Okay. So do that for me. And then we could redo the herbal medicine thing, but... Other than that, am I, did I miss anything else too major? You guys had all left, so you're going to leave again. I don't think so. I think other than that, we're fine. So drop this herbal medicine... Uh, forbid it. Okay. Yeah, the Outlanders are leaving because of dangerous temperature. I was right on that. Uh, open this up. Oh, yeah, I got to drop off the garbage, too. I forgot to do that. I didn't forget to do that. I remembered to do that. I got to do that. Okay. So go ahead and load this up with garbage. And if we do that, actually, we don't need to, uh... Really? We don't need to build more refrigerators just yet, either. Okay. What else? What else? The uh, Radiac Unrefined Uranium Crystals. Yes, put those in here. Beautiful. And then tell this to start processing them into uranium. Do forever. All right. I think that's everything that I can remember off the top of my head. Tyra, I... Not, not Tyra. Damn it. Neme. Okay, you took it off. Good. And unforbid this, but also wear something different if you get the chance. Of them won't be so slow. All right. Well, at least we got a great success. Rhino meat, elk meat, advanced bionic denture meat. Ooh, a Malorian. Bumble drones, fiddler crabs, uh, plesiosaur, or Rambo glasses. I'll take the Malorian, I guess. It's normal. All right. Nothing I'm going uh, particularly nuts about. Let's go ahead and transform it again. Tacos! <laughs> Mechanoid transponder. Yinlong egg. Megalouse egg. Tacos! 21 tacos! I'll take it. Alright. I'm not complaining about that. 
Okay, I also built the cannon. Down here, it was in storage. Yeah, see, I remember. There you go. There you go. I wonder if having the second steel wyvern just caused the game to stop. All right. Got our big boy egg right here. It's pretty great. Pretty great. That's right. These eggs are dead. Although I, I do want to... Actually, are they dead? I mean, they are, but we can transform them, too. We're going to do that later. We're not going to do this quest, though. Still not doing the psychic suppressor quest. Okay. It sucks. Some silver. Mm, okay. Well, that's nice. I think that's what we find now instead of the titanium. Which is what we had found before. So, we lose that on titanium. We gain on silver. Not a lot of it, but some silver nonetheless. All right. I guess it is what it is, and that's all that it is, and that's all it is going to be. And I can deal with it. Oh, and the strong box. That's right. Strong box, which is somewhere over here. Where is it? Pills kit. Uh. By the way, it, I transformed one of them into a strong box, didn't I? That's what happened. Yeah, so never mind on that. It's fine. It is what it is. Let's get that processor stomach going, the executive stomach implant. Okay, put in the order for that. And then, well, and then launch this. Mm, what do we got going on now? Ooh, the storyteller. Is it a, is it a battle? Because I don't see the pop-up for generating a map. So it's probably a third-party battle would be my initial guess. But we won't know until it loads, will we? That's all right. It'll, it'll do this one. I, you know what? We're going to miss out on the transcendent thing, too. The transcendent uh, subcore. It's probably fine, honestly. How you doing, Bucks Waste? It is a raid. All right. The chums from the Barbo Barboa Ladu. This alliance. Uh, they're arriving from multiple angles. Okay. 62 people up here. There's a Dustin. How many down here? You know we're just going to beam them, right? The 78 here, because I'm not having people step outside to fight all these guys. And then, are they attacking immediately? I assume so. They will prepare for a while and then attack. I mean, that's the dumbest thing, but okay. So how's Beamy doing? Only got 2,000 available. All right, fine. How's, how about Deep Rock? <sighs> Close, but not ready. All right, fine. It is what it is. All right, well, let's see y'all gather up. Now I'm interested to see what happens here when I do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right about here. All right, thanks for gathering up. Hope you all had a good time, and goodbye. All right, go ahead and use the frame selection to get rid of the rest of them. They're probably almost ready to to escape. Artificial metabolism. Yeah, that's good. Processor stomachs and the like. All right, concentrated beam is ready. Go ahead and pulse these ones. Oh no, they're beginning their assault. And they're done. And then we can go ahead and attack frame selection down here for y'all to be completely, completely done. Just immediately evaporates them. I mean, what are they going to do? It destroys their uh, torso with 141 damage, which is over 100 needed to destroy the torso. Stop dropping everything off here, you idiots. 
This is for waste packs. God. Critical here. Uh, are these linked? They are, okay. Critical there, important here. That way you'll drop them off over this way. Okay, this is full of waste packs. Launch them. Which one is the Barbalodo Alliance? They are... Come on. Oh, I'm losing my mind over here. Arbolodu. Um. Oh, this, yeah, the purple dark horde. You guys. Well, I'm not going to launch it that close to us. So, here you go. It's what you get. It's what you deserve. Okay. Beautiful. Done. Enemies destroyed. Koyo, how you doing? I think we can bring stuff in as necessary. You put the damn thing back on. Also, you're supposed to be indoors. How does this count as indoors? I don't know. Get out of there, though. Okay. Ugh. Well, there's another executive leg implant. Who can construct here? We need someone with 15 crafting at least. Missing Neutroamine? We're serious? Uh, Vasilla. Do we not have Neutroamine on this list? We do. Oh, we don't have enough to make more Neutroamine right now. That's the problem. I see. And all of this stuff requires Neutroamine? Maybe? Yep. Stomach requires 80 of it. Damn. Ugh. Tyra has heat stroke. Well, yeah. Probably because it's a little, uh... A little bit of a temperature problem. Let's see. Well, we have, what, 12 air vents? So, and the air vents take up 100 each, right? So we could have 45 air vents like that. Well, wait, 12 of those, that's four, That's 1,200, and this takes up 600. So that's 1,800, okay? So a couple more will definitely not hurt. Okay, so let's go ahead and put them... The hospital's already cool. Where's the hospital getting its bed from? I don't know. It's a little bit warmer in the kitchen. Let's go ahead and put one in the kitchen. And then from the kitchen into the into the dining area. And then in here as well. Okay. So if we do that, then of course we need the line. Oh my gosh, where is the line? Yeah. Okay. Down here. And then so we'd have it cut over this way. To here. Okay, that'll have it go. Oh, and and oddly enough, to here. All right. This bedroom is at 77. The bedroom's fine. Yeah, this Mr. Basilla's room is also very warm, but, you know, at this rate, everything else will be a-okay -okay as well. At least it should be. Doot, doot. Okay, it's going. It's doing its best. Temperature's where it needs to be. In, in the control units, I should say. Okay, we got airflow here. It's coming down. We have airflow here. It's coming down. And we'll probably see it start to come down in these rooms as well. Dismas, you can handle 305. All right. But we should see it probably go down slowly in these rooms too. Would be my guess. Yeah, I'll pull down the kitchen. 
This room is surrounded by cooler rooms, so this one should be fine by proxy. But honestly, at this rate, uh, we could also just consider throwing down a couple of vents. You know? Like a vent here and a vent here? That yeah, might be enough. It's still 83 in there, but it's definitely going down. It's going in the right direction. That's what's important. We should be okay. Yeah, the average temperature is exactly where we want it. I think we're going to be all right. Except for this jewel bug who collapsed due to extreme exhaustion again. Are you stuck here or something? What's wrong with you, buddy? Neural computation research is done. What's going on now? Circadian influence? Okay. We gotta let that go and do its thing. Apparel maintenance, huh? Alright, well, while you're doing that, that means we probably have time to go ahead and recruit you as well. So now what the hell is happening? Hmm? What you got for me? Yeah, Storyteller is uh, not happy with the having to do things all over again either, apparently. I, I also have to check. Oh, yeah, I have to check for the waste packs, too. Like I said, that might work swimmingly. You can just piss off all of our enemies. Oh, scavenge. Oh, it's the freaking League of Barga. Man. They're annoying because all they do is slow down the game. Too many of them spawn at once. And I know there's a mod that can, like, bring down the number of people that spawn without changing the actual calculation so they spawn with better equipment, in theory. But this is just stupid. Yes, I know they're technically aren't my allies right now. I don't care. Get them out of here. I want them gone. Preferably now. Thank you. And <laughs> not a single trace. Wow, look at all the stank. All right. Solves that problem. And it sped up my game again. Oh, mercy. You're doing a good job on this leg implant. Oh, yeah, I was going to put one in Reynold, right? Because we got the other one done. Did we get the other one done? We did. Okay, get that in Reynold. Okay, we'll get him upgraded. In fact, hey, go lay down. Rest until healed. Let's let that happen. Shouldn't take too long. Neme, when you're done doing that maintenance, guess what? It's time to transform some herbs again. I guess you can eat first. Okay. Now, now don't feed some dude named Bear. Or some lady named Bear. Alright, what do we got? Omicron helmet. Shield belt. Ooh, shield belt mark 45. It's not the best shield belt, but it is neat. <laughs> Royal Avis. War mask venison. A hood. Nano st structuring chips. Oh, gave me three of them. I was hoping to see more than that. That would have been cool. But alas. No luck this time. All right, all right. Two leg implants, please. Okay, the shuttle's arrived. All y'all need to get the hell out. If you're a guest, you're gone. Auto load, please, so I can get my gold. Please and thank you. How you doing, Vasilla? Seems to be doing all right. As of so far. Hopefully that can be maintained. Here's hoping. Hey, what you doing now? Just wandering? That's fine. I get that. We're making cool clothing. It'd be nice if this heat wave went away, though, so we could... I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, thank you. For, oh, yeah, this is Seal Vitality. Okay, so that didn't change. Not that I necessarily expected it to, but good to know that it didn't. I will hopefully remember to go after that cool type of biome, but I don't know if we will. The earth and depths. Remind me in the comments, okay? Say that you have some earth and depth to explore. You know, go find the red tiles. It'll be neat and swooped. Say that exactly. All right, the comment doesn't say neat and swooped. I'm not reading it. Well, I will, but I'll react to it nonchalantly. That's right, it won't be a chalant to be found. Uh, oh, we can't trade away the insect. You know, the insect jelly's worth basically nothing. Who cares if we can't trade it away? All right, well, we have a bunch of garbage here. I don't know what the insect chitin is doing here, though. You loaded. You're loaded. Get out. All right. Thank for the gold. You know, I don't care if we keep this insect chitin or not. Let's just launch this. Choose a target. It jerks. Guess what? You get more. Um, oh, can I only... Can I send it to somewhere where I know? <sighs> That's worse. That does make it weaker. <laughs> well... Now I don't care. Okay. Get rid of that. Select... Both of these. Ugh. Can't select both of them because they're not touching. All right. We'll make them touch. Load up more waste packs. Okay. And then, like I said, I guess we'll make them touch. Do what we gotta. Steel Wyvern is done gestating again. So, hey, we still have two of those. That's good, right? Probably. All right. Into the cargo podsies go. Thank you. A little bit more to get going. And thank you. Put this right here. And hey, look, we still have some uh, the steel on this side. So it kind of works out still. Yeah, get that built. Won't take too long. All the materials are already here. Build the cargo pod, maximize fuel levels, and we're good. Okay, how much fuel does it take to send this thing off? Uh, let's find out. There's a thousand in the network right now. Where did I send this? Did I send it down here? I don't remember. Um, yeah, just send it right here. 739. So, eh. Not that bad. We could go ahead and throw some chem fuel piping under this so it's always full. Isn't there underground chem fuel that we could use to hide it? Yes. So what if we did that? And I don't want to go towards the danger, so I'm going to have it just go under here, I think. Uh, I guess it'll go across here because I don't want it. I also don't want it to force me to make a bridge. That sounds annoying, so let's not do that. All right, if we can get that done, then we'll be in a golden spot. So, how you doing? Mm, you just started meditating again. Okay. I get it, I get it. You know, can't pretend that I don't. Thank you, Dismas, for at least starting that project. There you go. Increase pollution over here. They don't like it. Pollution is light right here. And obviously, if they opt to send more my way, I will send it back. It's just what I'll do. Wingus. Now eat your stew. You can pray to this. Let him out. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see, Reynolds got in his surgery, it looks like. So you have two of the executive leg implants now? Yes, good. Steel Dragon is done. All right, we have a second one. Very cool, very cool. Just kind of hoping to get this filled up. Uh... There we go. Ah, now it's part of the network, and they didn't need that extra fuel. Perfect. What more could you ask for? Well, now that we have a system for shipping this stuff off, we'll have to be ready to do that. Uh, yeah, let's see about getting this stuff back inside, please. That is, however, going to be it for this episode of that Please Rim World XCOM. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. So it'll keep coming, it won't stop till it does. And then it probably will. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld XCOM. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.